peppery delicious stir fried mushrooms which hardly takes a few minutes to prepare this stir fried mushroom recipe is a great idea for your weeknight dinner or if you are feeling lazy to make something elaborate hi everyone namaskar and welcome to curries with bombi today i will be making a simple and easy mushroom pepper stir fry recipe so let's get started You can take any type of peppers here. Though I am using peppers of different colors, that doesn't mean you have to stick to that. You can even use green bell peppers or any color according to your choice. Cut them into medium sizes. As you know, for stir frying, it's better to keep the vegetables bit chunky and of the same size. In that way, all the vegetables get cooked at the same time. Cut the onions into large pieces as well and separate them. Here I have taken regular white mushrooms and baby bella mushrooms. Take any mushrooms according to your preference. Again, I like to keep them chunky, or else if you cut them too small, then mushrooms just shrivel up into nothing, and that won't taste good. Here I have taken jalapenos. You can use green chilies as well. Use as many or as little. The choice is all yours. I love these big red chilies, but I have no idea why they are called red hot chilies. They don't have much heat in them. If you want your dish to look colorful and like that mild heat level of chilies, then these are the best option for you. Next comes the garlic. Chop them roughly. This goes into my bowl of aromatics as these are the ones which will impart flavor. Next comes the ginger. I will be using coriander leaves along with the stalks. I will include the stalks in the beginning along with the other aromatics. The leaves will go at the very end as a garnish. You can even use green onions instead of coriander leaves. Now coming to the star of the show, the black pepper. I love using freshly ground black pepper for this recipe. You can definitely use store bought black pepper, but if you have some time in your hand, then please grind them fresh. Grind them bit coarse like this. Let's make the sauce now. light soy sauce for that saltiness dark soy sauce for that dark color tomato ketchup to brighten up that flavor and little bit of sugar to balance the flavor mix everything and your sauce is ready my wok is on high heat and is screaming hot now i use 2 tablespoons of oil In goes all the aromatics. Stir them till they get well fried. The heat should be medium high all through the cooking process. Next goes the mushrooms. Stir them for a few seconds. Now comes the vegetables. Sprinkle some salt. The vegetables will render out some water. See that moisture? You want all that moisture to dry up. So after stir frying, see now there is no more moisture. So I will add the crushed black pepper. Next comes that lovely sauce. As soon as you add the sauce, let it bubble as that will give a caramelized effect. Then comes the roughly chopped coriander leaves. Finally sprinkle some lime juice for that freshness and that is all to that dish. So simple, so easy and I'm sure you will like it. You can serve this with a bowl of hot steamed rice or you can even have this with chow mein or maybe a bread roll. Please try this recipe and send me your feedback and if you are new to my channel then please consider subscribing. Eat healthy. and stay healthy bye bye